this state has a serious problem with heroin. In the past four years, seizures associated with heroin abuse have increased by 67 percent. At this point, admitting New York has a problem is just not enough. We're joining with the governor, with the state police, with the university police that we have across the SUNY system to take several specific steps in this campaign. The governor refers to it as a multi-pronged approach, dealing with the growing epidemic by first expanding the police force. We're adding 100 New York State troopers just to fight this heroin epidemic. Then taking the battle to colleges across the state. We need to provide education and early intervention to the entire campus community. UAlbany psychologist Dr. Dolores Cimini adds that Governor Cuomo's approach is an all-encompassing one. It requires enforcement, it requires immediate medical attention, and it requires education. Which includes making sure that all first responders are equipped and know how to administer a powerful anti-overdose drug called Narcan. What it does is it competitively binds to the opiate receptors in the nervous system. Um, blocking and sometimes reversing the effects. Developed in the 60s and FDA approved 15 years ago, Narcan can save a life in a matter of seconds. This end goes on the patient's nostril. And while Narcan does its job, a third of the nation's heroin seizures are happening right here in New York, proving it will take more than just policing to stop the trend. And it starts with parents, and it starts with friends, and it starts with neighbors. And if you suspect a person has an issue, do something. Sadly, heroin has become so accessible and affordable that it's an issue plaguing not just students, but people of all ages and backgrounds. Reporting in the newsroom, Karen Tararachi, Time Warner Cable News.